So it's me, your little boy, K. Samson. You know, <clears throat> this is one of the greatest reason why you should not be what be mad. Because listen, the Bible says he prepared the table before those in the presence of our enemy. Listen, people will come to a point where they will gang up together, taunt against you, talk evil about you. Speak all sorts of things. They will even add salt, add mangi, add all kinds of ingredients to make it look like it's real. Don't bother yourself. Don't be annoyed. Don't hate yourself. Don't feel bad because of the fact that they, they, are, they are doing us all these kind of things against you. Why? Because you have to understand that if there is no noise, if there is no music, there is no need for dancing. If there is nothing that make you happy, you won't be even be dancing without a music. So there must be something that will make you dance, that will balance the dancing. Meaning that some people who hate you, talk bad about you. If they don't do so, the table that God prepared for you in their presence will never be balanced. Yes, that, that is why if you are in a, in a public bus or you are in a private bus or you are in anywhere, they will try to, before the car will move, the owner will check whether the fuel will be able to carry him or you to where he is locating you to. So you have to understand that sometimes the reason why God allow people to talk bad about you so that the table he prepared for you will not be empty, will not be shaking, will not be what will be, what be waving because he want that table to balance. That is why when, when God allow her man to be persecuting what Esther, it is God that allow it to happen so that when Esther step into his manifestation, he will not do what wearing nor shaking so you have to understand that some people hate you it is the will of god it is the aim of god it is the mission of god for them to hate you so that that devil will balance don't just be annoyed hey god because sometimes i see a lot of people who say you know they hate me so much and they talk bad about me they treat me like i'm i'm the scapegoat in this family it look like i have no value it look like i'm nothing before them it look like i'm not even human even in my job i don't know why they treat me like this all is because of the fact that god want them to witness your difficult time so that when you enter your celebration time there will be the one that will give the news to people up there that we were aware we know it we were there we saw it but we have no idea how he keep making it because many people will do it many people who reject you now will surely come to beg you Many people who look down on you now will surely regret why they did so. Many people who counted you out will be forced to count you in. It does not matter how long it takes. It does not matter what they call yourself. They may rejoice in the evening, but joy cometh in the mood in the morning. That is why you need to understand that the rising up of a, of a sun is not the end of it. The downfall of a righteous is not the end of it. So people talk about you. It's because of the fact that God truly wants the table to balance. So that when the table balance, there will also be the one that will go out and tell others, Ah, he suffered. He deserved it. He has gone through a lot. He deserved it. But we can't explain how he made it to this point. Because sometimes when God is about to bless you, he, he allow your enemy to go insane by hating you and talking bad about you. So that they won't be aware how you arrive and how you enter. Remain blessed to me. God bless you.